Hi, so we are here testing our bilge, the grey water samples and ballast samples. I'm here with David, he's going to help us test all these samples. Hi David, hope I'm not asking you too much, thank you. So what test are you going to do? So here we check pH. pH, alright. And then uh, temperature. Temperature? And then here we're checking the chlorine in the water. Okay, the chlorine so is going to be free. Okay, and free chlorine, chlorine and total chlorine. And then this is the total chlorine, yes. Yeah. But usually this is done for a sewage test, right? You're even doing they, it for an OWS wanted, test. Yeah, they wanted to do it for uh, yeah, the sewage, belt, grave, even oh. the holding system. So, and this one is for the PPM, the other one, this the one, yes. oil content. Yes. So David, now you're testing the grey water all over again. Well, the same thing, yeah? Yeah, so we're doing a pH temp and then we're going to do flu flu chlorine and then total chlorine. Oh, alright. And any oil sample test for this one? No. Alright. So what kind of test we would be doing on board for the ballast water? So ballast, we'll be doing a pH, pH temp, and then we're going to be checking free chlorine and then total chlorine. Okay, so you're not going to do a TRO, a total, no. okay. No, no, no. Uh, e. coli and all that takes about 24 hours so at least. all that, the lab's going to take care of all right. those extra tests. So you're just doing the basic stuff? The basic stuff, yes. So the chlorine is for our records. Yeah. And then um, I know they do a chlorine test as well. All right. But I don't know if there's samples you're going to put in this cool box and then uh, like you said you're going to stop at a gas station on the way out and yeah on the way out stop at a gas station fill it up with ice and then deliver it yeah. all right David thanks a lot take care all right. see you soon one more thing we all got to remember is that uh, the test like I showed you in the end of the video he puts them in uh, insulated container and then he will go out he will fill up ice because certain samples need to be refrigerated or kept at at least a lower temperature so that you know the, the results do not vary the bacteria in the sample still lives the results do not vary and certain tests take very long like tests for E. coli and other bacteria in sewage or in grey water take almost 28 hours they are like incubation tests so 28 or 48 hours and usually I'm not dressed like this this is just I'm editing the video because uh, I'm just waiting I have some free time in my cabin before I head down so the basic test done by a lab representative that comes to draw your samples on board is uh, temperature pH free chlorine total chlorine and if it's an oil content I mean like your OWS discharge he'll do an oil content test as well these tests on board he draws the sample at the same time but the lab test he will draw them in a bottle in a special in couple of special bottles and another bottle for himself which he uses on board to test and verify you know that both the results are parallel or as close as possible so this verifies the integrity of the test and also gives us a fair picture of what we're going to expect with the results all right cheers hope you guys learned something take care bye bye do like do share deep sea man out oh this is something i learned from the liver king <laughs>